everybody welcome back to the channel in this video I'm going to show you a program called HWI info and what this software is it's like CPU Z it's like Spetchy and hardware uh, like crystal disk as well it is a hardware information software and what's nice about this particular software is it gives you detailed information but they also have a version for DOS that is right DOS that operating system that was the thing back in the 80s and DOS stands for Disk Operating System because you didn't have a hard drive at the time. That's why it's called that. So they have that. So I decided to download it and test it out and see how it works. So this is the installer right here. So if I double left click that. Now what, what I said double left click, double left clicking opens up programs right clicking will give you options now you can change that but that is for another video so you click yes click next obviously click the accept otherwise you won't be able to install it and this will give me so as I stated before this is just like CPU-Z, GPU-Z, Spetchy, um, Crystal Disk Info, and others. So we click Finish. Okay, so now we are going to launch this program. Okay, so here's... This is a non-commercial use version. There is a commercial use version, but you do have to pay for that. But I do like this program already because I looked up the, um, they have pictures online of what this program does, and it does a lot. So I'm going to do, I could do sensors only or summary only, but I want to look at everything, so I'm not going to select those. So, so I'm going to click Start. And what it's doing is, is it's examining my hardware. Something else that does that, when you take your car to a mechanic and they hook this computer device up, it does the same thing to tell you faults. Okay, so it's up, and this is really, really cool. So, my CPU is an AAMD Athlon. Yes, I know that is extremely old. This computer is extremely old. Uh, it's 4050E, it's a stepping BHG2, cores, there are two cores, cache, and it gives you detailed information. 2x64 plus 2x64, L2, 2x512. I do not have level 3 or level 4. Uh, 3D now, and it gives me the feature, so this contain I can use 3D stuff on here. Uh, DE... DEP AMDV for virtually if I remember that correctly it is virtualization EM64T base clock I have 2100 megahertz active clock it is 2109.7 megahertz HT max is 1000 HT clock is 1004 Okay, so that's it for the CPU. Motherboard, e, e machines, which is not, this is not an E machine, this is a, um, oh, I'm on my testing station number two, so this is the E machine. I forgot what computer I was on. Uh, it gives me the serial number, chipset, uh, BIOS update is 1029 so that is the most recent BIOS version. The BIOS has never been updated on this computer. Well, my family member got this computer from Best Buy 
that is the version that came with it. So it's 6.0 PG, it's memory, 5 gigs, yes I have 5 gigs, and it gives you the type of memory. It's DDR2 SD RAM, it goes S, uh, SD RAM, then it goes DDR, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4. And no, I'm not talking about the dance machine, I'm talking about dual data rate memory. Dual channel gives you, this is memory modules, 1 gig. So it gives you the exact memory module. So I have five one gig memory sticks in here. So it's 400 megahertz, air correcting chip. This does not have it. Uh, there are some memory modules. I've only came across maybe once, actually once, maybe twice. There is a little square chip that is soldered onto the corner the right hand corner of the chip or the top part of the chip when it's in the machine. And if there's an error in memory, it will correct that error. So we go on to GPU. It's EVGA GeForce 8800GS, which, yes, because I did a video on that, installing that. Uh, it's PCI, as I did. And here is a cool thing. See where it says GPU 0? And you're asking yourself, why does it say GPU 1? That's the only one in there. In the computer world, 0 is the first number. So it's PCI, and it gives you all that. And if you put your mouse over it, it highlights everything and all that. So TMUs 12 slash 48. Shaders Unified 96 GPU uh, 7992 shader and it's telling me which operating system I am running. I am micro running Microsoft Windows 11 Professional. My new X64 build 2200. I shouldn't say that 2200.56. That is the version that is on here. This was actually the test version of the operating system, so that way I could test it out. Uh, interface, uh, ATA100, that is my DVD drive, and actually that's the hard drive, excuse me. And the other, uh, ATAPI, that is my Blu-ray burner. So, it is a Blu-ray burner, I have not burnt anything, but I do uh, watch movies on here from time to time. So this is a summary. So if you look up here, it says HWI Info versions 7.22-4731 at eMachines ET1161-07 system summary. So that is the detailed. It's telling me, hey, look, you're using an eMachine. I like this software. It gives you very, very detailed structures. Okay, now it says 5 gig in the memory. Oh, no, that was there before. Okay, I thought that had changed. Anyway, so going back to the memory, I have five gigs, but I have five one gig sticks. Actually, I read that totally wrong. I have five gigs of memory that is the memory modules. I do have Samsung memory in there, and that's the one that it's reading. Even though if if I move this down, you get this is just like if you cl right click PC in Windows. But this gives you a little bit better. So we'll go to memory. Okay, so I do have five gigabytes. Gigab 
bytes, excuse me. So this is right. So the total memory size that I have, just to recap, is five gigabits, bytes, excuse me. But they are one gig sticks. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because because there's only two oh no there's four slots on that I was thinking of another machine but that is right so anyway with that said that is it for this video please comment like subscribe and click that bell for more notifications